about my final question for you is in terms of personal branding, we know that it's very important these days. So what tips do you have for international students or immigrants who are new to the country and they don't know how to use their personal brand or they don't know how to create content. So what tips you have for uh, international students or people who are new to the country? Yeah, I think just be yourself. Um, whoever your authentic self is, whatever your interests are, whatever your values are, you're gonna attract the right tribe and the right community. Um, so I think it's just really being authentic and putting yourself out there. Um, you're going to attract a lot more people, especially if you're new, uh, you know, and, and you're uh, international and maybe you're, you're moving or you're looking for an opportunity mm -hmm. uh, in another country where I think people are going to be happy to help you out yeah. if you put, put it out there and ask for help. Mm -hmm. um, so I think a lot of it is just being really genuine yeah. I think, again, and we touched on this before, but it, it probably bears repeating, the ability to tell good stories mm -hmm. is really important. So talking about whether it's how you grew up and how that's influenced the person that you are today yeah. and how it's relevant from a business perspective mm -hmm. is really, really important. If I could give a shameless plug, I will. A really good friend of mine and a member of the Talent Champions Council uh, is Dr. Dennis Ribello. And he wrote a book called Story Like You Mean It. Mm -hmm. uh, and I actually have it right here because I was, I was using it before. It's a phenomenal book. And basically, it gives you the manual for mm -hmm. how to tell your story and how to build your brand. It doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, what country you come from, um, it's relevant really for everybody. Uh, so I think having a guide and a roadmap to do that uh, can make anybody a really good storyteller. Yeah, those are great tips, Scott. I really appreciate that. And with that, my interview comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to answer some of my questions. And I hope the audience listening or watching will we will implement some of those tips in their next job search or in their job, next job uh, interview. So again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of personal branding, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great guest I'm preparing for you guys. Again, Scott, thank you very much. We'll be in touch and hope to see you one day in person. Bye. Everyone. Thank you, Mahar. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.